Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and the topic for today will be moving objects in 3D space. So AutoCAD provides uh, several tools uh, specifically designed for moving objects in 3D space. Uh, we have th three main ones and uh, two more after. So we have the 3D uh, align, the 3D move and the 3D rotate. Okay, let us start to see them. So under this home menu, uh, we have under this modify, we have a couple of icons here to do this work. So the first one is the 3D move. And the 3D move is, uh, uh, in fact, each one of these commands is very similar to what we have in 2D. So uh, we can select one object, we can select the base point, and then we can move around we can move around the space, okay? But we can use this also with this gizmo we have where we can restrict the movement. For example, clicking in one of the axes so we'll move only uh, on, on the X or if we click on the plan so we move, if you see, on the plan. So it's another option. Uh, besides the 3D move, or uh, we can use this 3D move also instead of the icon, just writing down 3D move. Okay, and we are in the same position. Besides the 3D move, we have the 3D rotate, which is in here, or we can write down 3D rotate. So we select the object, and then we get this gizmo here where if you click in one of these circles so now you will restrict your rotation on these uh, axis and under this circle of rotation so this is another possibility the third possibility is to make a 3d alignment and the 3d alignment is this one 3d align or 3d align it's the same so the idea in here is I want to align this object and I want to select, for example, one base point, one second point and one third point. So first point on the destination in here, second point in here and third point in here so it will align both objects like that okay um, the two commands we have also besides these align move and rotate are the 3d mirror and the 3d array the 3d array we've seen already because basically is the same uh, it's the array where we can give besides the columns and the rows we can give levels we've seen that already and the 3d mirror it's also very similar to what we have under the 2d uh, with the only difference that instead of giving an ax uh, an axis you can give a plan so for example this is the 3d mirror so we can select one object it doesn't matter which one and then we can get we can give for example three points uh, and uh, let me try to choose uh, okay one point second point and third point so delete no and what happens is that I mirror my object considering the plan I give. So all of these functions are specific for 3D uh, space environment, for moving, even that this concept of moving can be like the mirror to create a new part. Uh, the align, the move and rotate, okay, are, are, are movements. 
um, and the array so it's also the creation of, of new parts so these are very interesting concepts uh, you can see also a little about these uh, commands on the videos we are publishing uh, in our uh, YouTube channel with the 3D examples for AutoCAD. Anyway, any questions, any problems you might have, you can contact us and we will help you uh, in what we can and uh, in what we know.